Since 1993, the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights, or OHCHR, has been working to protect and promote human rights in Cambodia. The Cambodia office is the oldest field office of OHCHR in the world. In its work, OHCHR Cambodia has sought to help the country rebuild itself and prosper nationally and internationally so that every person in Cambodia eventually enjoys their rights as a human being and thrives. When OHCHR opened in Cambodia in 1993, uh, Cambodia had just come out of 18 years of civil war. Many of the institutions uh, had been devastated and the country was very fragile. UNTAC managed to hold successful elections in 1993, but elections are one thing and the uh, process of uh, nation building was quite another. With the new constitution in 1993, Cambodia has started the journey to build a liberal democracy, guaranteeing human rights and respect for the rule of law. Ever since, the UN Human Rights Office has been supporting the government to strengthen the legal framework under which human rights are protected, supporting the building of institutions mandated to protect and promote human rights, and monitoring the implementation of human rights standards on the ground. <laughs> In its work, OHCHR Cambodia has considered everyone, including those locked up behind bars, through technical cooperation, advocacy, and direct material support, this office has helped bring about important reforms in Cambodia's prison system. This has resulted in important legislation that has established a separate legal status for prison staff, thus enabling their professional development. It has also led to meaningful improvements in the physical environment and the daily lives of thousands of prisoners across Cambodia. Everyone has a role to play in a country's development. Strengthening civil society has therefore been a central pillar of the work of the UN Human Rights Office throughout its history in Cambodia. Today, people can talk about human rights, people can claim their rights, people come out in the streets and demands for uh, solutions to their problems are things that we see every day and this was inconceivable in 1993. But to grow and develop, we all need a place to live on, a roof to protect us, and a livelihood. Through monitoring, advocacy, and technical cooperation, the UN Human Rights Office in Cambodia continues to promote the right to adequate housing and an adequate standard of living. It seeks to prevent forced evictions and improve security of land tenure for all without discrimination. Indigenous minorities with ancestral ties to Cambodian land, the majority of Cambodians who live on farms in rural areas, and the ever-increasing urban population all share the same rights and the government has the same duty to protect them all. It's always about the people, it's always about the, the cause of human rights. And I think OHCHR in, in some way has been the yardstick, uh, has set the norms, has said what needs to be said to all parties, not taking side, but, but to all parties. Our role is not to solve the problems, but to help government and the public maintain a meaningful dialogue so that they can arrive at solutions together. And once that dialogue is established, then our presence will no longer be needed. And that's what we are continuously working to, to reinforce here in Cambodia.